Oh, yeah, let's go about this one. Eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, two of our, two of our most... Um, was it two? Yeah, two of our more prominent rappers in the UK, um, Hedy One and Tion Wayne, got involved in a bit of a kerfuffle aboard a Dubai flight, right? I guess most of the most people in the UK, I guess it's different if you're in the US, everyone's mostly going to like, um, where are they going to? They're going to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Mexico, right? That's where places that people are going to in order to kind of escape the perils of the lockdown. If you've got some money, that's where people are kind of heading out to. But in the UK, the sort of like go-to destinations at the moment, especially in the midst of COVID, were prior to COVID were Greece, but that's since been locked down. I'm assuming there's some sort of quarantine restrictions that are not allowing people to go. And then if the other option is to go now is Dubai because things are relatively back to normal in Dubai. You have to wear face masks everywhere because I've been following a few fitness influencers who kind of go out there to obviously continue doing their fitness influencing content and you know whatever else they're doing because you can do that kind of remotely for the most part especially if you've got courses that you sell online and you coach people via live streaming and also via facetime and skype and whatever it may be and um zoom and all that sort of good stuff so if you're an artist and you you know you especially if you're some of the upper echelon artists you want a bit of a break best place to probably go is dubai of course you can't get up to some of the other bits of nonsense that people get up to but i'm sure if you've got a fixer that's on the ground you can probably hook some things up for you but it seemed like a lot of people were kind of going at the same sort of time in it the sort of this week last week and i guess the next couple of weeks going forward especially if the lockdown continues and for some odd reason some odd reason um tion wayne and uh, hoodie one happened to bump into each other happen to be on the same flight going in the same direction now i i reckon because there's probably limited flights going to dubai in general right even though it's not far from the uk i'm sure there's only limited service running at the moment maybe a couple of flights a day if that so there's gonna it's gonna kind of increase the chances of them crossing paths and it did unfortunately cross paths and it got into a fight on the plane <laughs> and it's funny because a flight to what london to dubai isn't short right it's what I'm assuming it's going to be like eight hours, right? Let me say off the top of my head. I don't know what it is. It's definitely going to be about eight. So if it's about eight hours, right? They're having to fight like this at the beginning of the of the flight before they've even sat down. And then they're having to like sit and brew and put their headphones on, eat their little food, go to the toilet, knowing full well that they've had a full up dusters on the plane. <laughs> that's the hilarious side of it and i don't know what it was about again maybe it's a gang affiliated i have no idea i don't pay that much attention to it i just do the music i don't know they probably got some beef in terms of postcode stuff but it's just funny to see from the outside and also the other subtext of it somehow morrison was the one that was splitting up the fight right somebody that you know it doesn't need to be explained why morrison well it's funny that morrison's the one's breaking up the fight but it is funny that he happens to be the the cooler head the one that's sort of trying to maintain the peace whilst these two heathens are trying to you know go out on a plane so let's play the video <laughs> i got it up on your screen <laughs> Uh, that's I guess that's Tion Wayne like went for the overhand right overhand right uh, looping right hand overhead overhand sorry yeah the looping right hand to the side of Heady One's face it looks like and then he does that thing where he pretends everyone's holding him back and doesn't want to keep on going. Absolute barbarians! What are they doing? What they're doing, man. Imagine all the trappings of wealth that they have at the moment, all this access, the ability even to just go away, right? The ability to go on holiday to Dubai, a lovely country for, by the looks of it. From what I've seen on YouTube, people's vlogs, I've never been there myself, but it looks lovely. The planes look flipping delightful and you're fighting. Come on, man. Get your act together, guys. Look up there, you pussy. Pussy, they're done up. They're done up. <laughs> and then we've got another angle here from afar. Of these heathens get up to nonsense. Aye, aye. There's, children, please, and there's children. Who cares about the children? Who is that person that always says there's children? We don't care about the kids. We want to start swinging. I see my ops. It's on site. Kids. Who cares about kids? Look, the movie hasn't even started on the screens, right? They've still got that screen on when you can check the map, see where you are. Oh, wow, we're going to Dubai. How long is the flight? And these guys are swinging. You're probably thinking about your meal. You're worried about going to the toilet. <laughs> and you see these two flipping idiots throwing blows. You want to get nicked? Allow it. Allow it. 
<laughs> and I guess that's part of the hesitancy, isn't it? They both want to fight, but they know if they continue fighting, they're definitely going to go jail. But then the good thing about it, because it's COVID, no one's really getting arrested for anything, isn't it? It seems like unless you unless you unless you legitimately cut someone's head off in the middle of a street, no one's really arresting you. So that's probably the best part of it. <laughs> Another angle. Oh, same one, hey, right? Look, no, back one. look at him! Look at him! Yeah, you don't like this stuff! You don't like this stuff, innit? You like this... Imagine all this energy and all this aggression at the beginning of the flight and you're having to somehow settle yourself down for the end of it. This is like, this is like getting on it, right? At like 1 a.m. and you've got to go to bed at 3. <laughs> it's such an empty climax. Oh, my God. Look at Look at the one trying to, yeah, doing the old, he's doing, he's doing the old flinch, the old flinch move, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Another angle. This must be honestly, legitimately, legitimately one of my nightmares in terms of fights, like fighting in a lift and fighting in an airport or fighting in a plane. Your movement's restricted, right? You can't actually. There's not there's not a lot of space, and I guess it's easier if you if you can fight it's easier because I'm assuming the more limited your space is, the more you can sort of use your actual skills in order to kind of you know uh, avoid getting hit and obviously hitting on the counter. But if you don't know how to fight, the lack of space is definitely going to affect how you actually win or actually or actually how it appears like you win. Because if that person gets hits you once and then you stumble and you fall into the seats and you're sort of all discombobulated and your phone's in the air and you're trying to gain, gain balance and you're getting elbowed in the face, you're going to look mad on camera. It's never going to look good. Same with the lift. If someone's got a drop on your lift and they're just pummeling you into a corner, headbutting you into a corner, you're just going to look wild on the CCTV. That's my issue. Whereas if you're, in, if you're out in the open, you can somehow, you know, avoid everything, innit? That's my hope. I guess so. I don't know if that's actually true, but oh you gotta love it, man. Two of our finest exports, two of our finest, biggest hip hop stars, right? Rap stars in the scene, yeah, setting a good example, swinging on the Dubai flight and just having a whirl of a time. You gotta love it. You gotta bloody love it.